Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Daryl Guberman. We're going to be getting on a train going to New York to visit some specialists and engineers. I just heard today the FAA went into Sparrow Aerospace Systems and also Boeing and they've got a lot of quality issues going on. How many times do I have to tell you there's going to be a major, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's going to be a major catastrophe. And I don't, more than likely than not, there will be. But I want to tell you this. Boeing is an FAA regulator as of 2009. So when they put the MCAS system in, the MCAS system was approved by the FAA. Boeing, that's number one. Number two is I wonder if those FAA inspectors were actually from the FAA in Washington or were they the designees from 2009 that the FAA came in and made Boeing a designated regulator? That's what I like to know, wouldn't you? From 2002 onward, you had the factor that Boeing sat on the board of the American National Standards Institute and the American National Crediting Board, where they forced that down their suppliers' throats. In fact, on the supplier bulletin, it states that the supplier must be ANSI A and accredited, or they will accept an audit from a aerospace company like Lockheed Martin, and it's all depending on how the acceptance is with Boeing. So they basically didn't do inspection. They let a piece of paper, an AS9100 certificate, be the viable form of quality for the supplier to send in their materials to Boeing. That's the way it is in this supplier document. You're going to find all the information down below this video. You'll find that. My name is Daryl Guberman, 203-556-1493. And tragedy is on the horizon because they can't get their shit together. They rename musicians who were at Boeing rather than bringing new blood into the facility, who've got aerospace background, who've got composites, plastics, metals, like Daryl Guberman and our team. You will find out that they will contact us after one of those planes, God forbid, go down. I thank you.